Okay, this is going to be short because it's it's quite odd. But anyway, what we're looking at is a liliaceous plant from uh, South Africa. Um, a trimia, what the name is. Um, not quite, quite sure what the species is. Cause I've never been given that necessarily, but um, and it's undergone some abuse. Um, but anyway. See, there's the bulb and all that. So, but what I'm focusing on is this weird little thingy. See if I can do that. And I'm not quite sure what to think about that. Um, I've seen a little bit of this in other things. So, if it was summer, I'd say, well, that's some sort of bug that has gotten in there and is causing um, these outgrowths. But um, it's March and it's been a snowy March and generally speaking, um, I don't know of that many bugs that are flying around when it's, um, no, let's say 20 degrees or um, 24. I mean, it has warmed up a little bit, but it definitely gets cold. And this is undergoing some stress. But to me, this looks like somatic embryogenesis, um, which is not something I've seen outside plant tissue culture. So I'm going to see how far those little thingies can go. Um, so the, uh, the bugs that, would, that could do this or uh, various types of wasps, various types of aphids, and so forth. But um, again, I don't think uh, me opening my window a couple of times in the middle of winter um, is going to cause those to fly in and lay eggs, essentially. The eggs cause hormones that uh, cause this um, uh, tissue to expand, which wouldn't be, um, it would be galls. Um, but anyway, thought I'd record that, so I'm not quite sure what to think about that. It is a succulent leaf, and it's, there's some over here that's attempting, looks like from an injury. Um, so it could have it damaged. See on the bottom, might be a damaged uh, part. But anyway, that is very peculiar. But I have seen liliaceous, succulent liliaceous things do funny things. Um, but anyway, there you go. That is that is a weird. And so, but anyway, there you go.